It's not too chilly to go on a little getaway, especially for Valentine's Day. But if you don't want to stay in a typical hotel or even an Airbnb, what about checking out a couple of the unique sleepovers being offered right here in Indiana? Joining me with a few clever ideas, Amy Howell with Visit Indiana. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's talk about the first one. We have Patoka. I've never heard of this. This is in Bird's Eye, Indiana, Patoka Lake Winery. Yeah, it's just down the road from French Lick and West Baden. And many people have heard of our resort community there. Right. Well, this is a winery that is on the way down to Patoka Lake, and it features over 20 different wines in the ground floor. And then it has two old grain silos that have been manufactured into these gorgeous, elegant suites. And they're two levels. You see the stainless steel on the outside. You have your own private entrance. It's got all the amenities, a kitchen, a staircase going out, a balcony, you name it, whatever you want to do, plus a winery right down below. And you're not far from French Lick. Absolutely. Clayshire Castle in Bowling Green, Indiana. Tell me a little about this. So Bowling Green is due west from here. Okay. And it's a gorgeous countryside. And if you want to live like a king or a queen for the day, this medieval castle is the place to go. It's got five different rooms. A uh, wine cellar style room, a Victorian room, an enchanted forest room. It really truly is a castle, and the innkeepers there. It looks like someone lives there. Well, there are innkeepers that live okay. there. And they actually come in costume, and you can try on costumes while you're there to get in the spirit of being in the medieval times. All right, that definitely looks the part. The old jail in Rockville, Indiana. Yeah, so this is in the heart of Park County. This used to be the Park County Sheriff's Office and jail. And so below it is the drunk tank, okay. which is an actual winery featuring local wineries. And then you actually are in cells, actual cell rooms. Oh, wow, bars, look at the pictures here. Right, bars on the doors. And they have five different rooms there, everything from a Dillinger to... A Jesse James room to a Thelma and Louise room. So you're literally behind bars. So I just noticed one of the photos had markings on the wall inside the prison cell. So those are probably from those who were in those cells writing on the walls. They just left everything there. Absolutely. There's even a little cove to where um, you can go through from the sheriff's office to the jail that's still there and you can explore that. All inside. Okay. Yes. Our coming up next, we have a train car room at the Crown Plaza downtown. Now, this is one is unique. This is a beautiful place inside. Absolutely. It used to be America's oldest Grand Central Station right. or something like that. And it features 19 Pullman cars that have been transformed. One car is typically split into two different rooms, and it's literally a train inside this revamped train station that has a pool, that has great eateries inside. Right in the heart of downtown, you can walk to anywhere. And a lot of folks usually have their wedding receptions here as well, so that's pretty interesting. Absolutely. Riley's Rail House in Chesterton. This is our last one. So this is another train experience. We have a lot of train history in Indiana. Yes, we do. <laughs> so. The, these have been, tra there's five different rooms here. They've been transformed into these old rail cars. Same kind of deal, split into two different rooms. And then there's the caboose. That's okay. the luxury suite. All right. And so it's all decked out in Victorian style. So there's no excuse to say we don't have anything to do, babe, this weekend because there are, there's lots to do in Indiana. Perfect for friends, perfect for couples, perfect for families. I know those families would dig that castle. All right. Amy Howe with Busy Indy, thank you so much. Thank